Hi everyone! Thank you for joining me for story time today. Since it is back to school, I wanted to go ahead and read a book for school. And this one is Follow the Line to School. I haven't read this one yet, so I'm excited to. Well, let's get started. Follow the Line to School. Written and illustrated by Laura Jungvist. School is starting. How exciting. Music, reading, math, and writing. Lunchtime, recess, art, and more. Follow the line and let's explore. Say hello to your friends and go to your classroom. Fred is the class pet. Can you guess what kind of animal he is? Look right there. Two ears. That must be a bunny. Look at the alphabet chart. What letter does your name start with? Here's the alphabet chart. My name starts with a K for Katie. What sport would you like to play with the ball in this room? There's the ball. That looks like a basketball. Follow the line to the science corner. To learn about animals and the different places they live in the world. Elephants live in Africa and Asia. How many elephants do you see? That's right, two. One, two. Many chickens live on farms. What other animals here might live on a farm? I see a pig. A rooster and a bull. Whales live in the ocean. What other animals shown here also live in the water? You got it! An octopus, a whale, and the picture up here, which I believe is a shark. Follow the line to the library to pick out a book and hear a story. There is an open book on the chair. What do you think it is about? That's right. It looks like a book about cars. How many headsets do you see for the listening station? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven headsets. Which book on this page do you think is about baseball? I see a book here by Sam Marina. It is called Home Run. Follow the line to the art room to paint, draw, and create. What color do you get if you mix blue and yellow paint? That's right, you get green. Which pictures on the wall are made from cut paper? It looks like these two pictures of 
these two looks like I would say a boy and a girl or a blue image and a brown image there is a paintbrush and a cup of water on the table what color paint was on the brush it looks like this one is a little bit tricky the water does water down the color and it looks like it could have been red. Follow the line back to your classroom to feed Fred the class pet and to play a game. What would you feed to Fred? It looks like there are carrots that are perfect for a rabbit. Using your finger, can you find your way to the star at the center of the maze? Let's see. You enter here, take a left. Then you go in here and you take a right. Then you go in, take another right. Then you go in, take a left, and then a right. What number did the spinner land on? I see the spinner. That's right, it landed on number four. Follow the line to the cafeteria to eat your lunch. Don't forget to wash your hands first. What fruits do you see here? Look at all this yummy food. I see an apple. Some kiwi. A banana. Strawberries. Grapes. Cherries. Up right here, there is an orange and a pear. Oh, and down over here, a tomato. Did you know a tomato is a fruit? Which of the foods shown here would you pack in your own lunchbox? Looking at this item of foods, I would probably pick out some chicken and bow tie pasta. And maybe for the sides, I would have a yellow pepper with broccoli and then some grapes for dessert. Oh, and I can't forget some milk. How many types of pasta can you count? That's right, there are three kinds of pasta. We have the little swirlies, which is the rotini. Also, the bow tie pasta. And then the macaroni at the bottom. Follow the line to the playground. To run and play at recess. Someone's left a baseball cap outside. Can you find it? That's right, there it is. How many balls do you see? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight balls. 
What colors are the jump ropes? Looks like this one is orange. The one on the playground is yellow. The one by the slide is blue. And the last one is pink. Follow the line to the map area to learn about counting and shapes. One number is missing from the puzzle on the table. Can you find it? Hmm. Here's the number puzzle. It looks like the number six is missing. Let's find it. You got it. There is the number six right there on the chair. If you are counting by twos, which number comes after six? Let's look at the chart. Two, four, six, eight. Great job. How many triangular blocks do you see on the table? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like there are six triangular blocks on the table. Follow the line to the music room to sing a song and play an instrument. Which of these instruments do you blow into? Hmm. Looks like I see a horn and a trumpet on the piano, a saxophone on the shelf, a two recorders, and another horn. How many instruments shown here have strings? Looks like this one does. One, two, three. Three instruments. Which of the following would you shake and rattle? The maracas right here, down here, and on the chair. Follow the line back to your classroom because it's time for show and tell. Someone brought in a seashell collection. How many shells can you count? Let's look at this picture. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. It looks like there are nine shells. Which of these things are gold? Looks like there are two gold medals and a golden trophy. Also, a gold pocket watch and a gold crown. How many animals do you see? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Follow the line out the door because it's time to go home. It's so much fun to learn new things. I wonder what tomorrow brings the end wasn't that a great book if you enjoyed reading this book and want to purchase i will put a link for it down below in the description box and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like thank you so much for joining me for story time i hope to see you next time bye